Peyton, do you take Ryan to be your husband? Are you sure about this? Yes, because if you marry my brother, then we're sisters. Um, now give him your ring. Sorry about your mom. She was a wonderful woman. You wanted to talk? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was thinking that We've been friends for a long time, and that, um, you know, I was, I was actually wondering if... Ryan? You know you're like a brother to me, right? You're my good friend. Yeah. And I will always be here for you, whenever you need me. Yeah. Excellent work, Ryan. A plus. Hmm. Do you mind if I take a picture of that? Uh, no, go ahead. I know someone who might want to use it. Do you mind? Not at all. And your name is Ryan, right? Yeah. Thanks.
so I have to finish that English paper, mm -hmm. and then I have to plan the next uh, council meeting, which is in two days, and then I have to get online for that new science project. Are you sure you're gonna have enough time to hang out then? Yeah, of course. Remember how much we used to hang out when we were little? We hang out like every day. Yeah. Today's the day, isn't it? The day my mom died? Yeah. Mm. It's been like about seven years now? Yeah, I guess so. Sounds like somebody wants to talk to me. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Hey, hey Riley. What's up? Did you hear about Miss Jordan? No. What happened? Some people say she's missing. And uh, isn't that your brother? Ryan! Hey, Ryan! Ryan! Hey, what are you doing? Did you skip last period? No, I just took a different way. Is, um, is Dad home? I doubt at this time of the day. Hey, you Why? guys, yeah. did you hear this news about Miss Jordan? People are saying that she went missing. Yeah, Jacob should be able to see it home. Bye. I don't know. We're just gonna have to talk to my dad when we get home. Okay. Hey, bud. Where you been? Out. I see that. Out where? Just out. Where are you going? Headed to the station. We've got a possible missing person. Someone's coming in to file a report. Why? Nothing. So you'll be gone for a while? Yeah, you have homework, right? No, I'm all caught up. Are you sure? Because I got an email from your English teacher. She says something different. Oh, I'm almost done with that. Ryan. What's going on, bud? Nothing. There's also been a counselor that's been calling. She's leaving messages. She wants to meet with you and Riley. Oh, that's a college planning thing. It's probably nothing. Listen, why don't you stop by the office and see exactly what she wants? Ryan. OK. Hey, Dad. Where are you going? Headed to the station. Do you know when you'll be home? I'm not sure at this point. Should I fix dinner? No, it's OK. Thanks. Hi, Mr. James. Hey, Peyton. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hi. Good to see you. So I can't stay long. I'm meeting Jackson at the place. So I haven't been to the place in forever. I miss our tree. How's it doing? Or have you even taken time to notice? We're just talking. Mm-hmm. Does Ben know that you're just talking to Jackson? Face to face at the place? Don't care. He's the one who broke up with me, so. Oh, seriously, Ryan? Did you eat all the hummus and then put the container back in empty again? Just write it on the list when we start running low, okay? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Why? I don't know. He just seems not okay. B11. B11, go ahead. B11 holding a burglary at the lodge, 300 Prairie Street. B11 clear, en route. Where's the owner? He'll be right back. Hey. What? Chief talked to you about this, right? About what? About me moving up to detective. Yeah, he did. Do you have a problem with that? I don't have any trouble maintaining my caseload. And I don't need a partner. The crime rate has jumped up the last yeah, year or so. Yeah, There's the owner. What's going on, Jeff? According to the 
most recent census reports, the town of Montgomery in the northern region of our listening area has the lowest unemployment rate and the fastest growing population in the Lone Star State. The median income levels for the area have also risen significantly. This is considered to be due to the recent arrival of Redmond Quinn, well-known speaker, author, and thought leader. The Hey, Tommy, what's up? I was just calling to check if you were uh, going to be able to come help lead the veterans group tonight. Um, we've got three new people signed up. Absolutely. I just have to drop off something at the police station. They don't have a short meeting, but uh, yeah, I should be there easy by six. Hey, how's it going with the uh, horses? Ah, all good, all good, ready to serve. You guys ready for the meeting tonight? Ah, uh, you ready for the meeting? <laughs> all right, that's good. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Bye. There he is. Hey, Josh. How are you? Good to see you, Vic. Good to see you. Hey, Chaplain. Landon? How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Hey, I just need to drop these off with the chief before our meeting. Oh, you okay. Guys, okay. Hey, good to see you, good man. Good to see you, Josh. take care. Yeah. How you been? I'm good. How about you? How's the family? Uh, it's doing great. Good. Everything is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Chief. How are Brother you? Brother Vic. Come on in this house. Great to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Judge. Good to see you too, Chief. As always. Looks like you're heading out. Yeah, a little meeting at City Hall. You know, the cost of the job, right? So it'll be a few minutes. Uh, what you got? Well, um, I just wanted to drop these off. And I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to send you an email about a suicide prevention seminar that we're trying to set up. Awesome. We'd love for as many officers as you can. You bet. To get them to be there. That is awesome. Okay. Oh, and hey, I've got the, uh, the results of the survey that you sent out to our officers. Excellent. Oh, yes. Can we take a copy of this to the meeting that we're going to? We're headed to a suicide task force meeting right now. Absolutely, Judge. Take that one. Take that with you. And when I'm through at City Hall, I got to stop by the courthouse real quick, and then I'll head on over to the meeting. I'll be over there shortly. All right, Vic, we'll see you over there. See you, Judge. Yeah. See you, Judge. It's right here, Chief. See, this is, this is what we have to address. They are not willing to ask for help because they're afraid to lose their job, their promotion, their pension. It's, we, this is it right here. Last year, you know, we lost more law enforcement officers to suicide than we did a line of duty deaths. So having said that, I'm very concerned about one of our own, one of the best guys we've got. Is he here today? Can I meet him? Yeah, he's here. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, here he comes. Chief. How you doing, brother? Good. Wanted to introduce you to our new chaplain. This is Vic Raphael. And he's a retired army dog face. So you two have that in common. And I know you've been uh, surrounded by a fire team of Marines since you came on the department. So we'll give you a, a little backup here and you guys can commiserate about your army experience together. I know Sergeant Victor Raphael. I went to boot camp in Fort Benning. Really? What year? Who was your Sarge? 99, Vasquez. Vasquez, good man. Hey, let's stay in touch. It's very nice to meet you, Ethan. I'll see you, Chief. All right, brother. Okay, take care. Don't be a stranger. Grace Williams came in. She's ready for you to interview her and take a report from her. Okay. I'll tell you what, close the door. I want to share something with you. Hey, have you gotten your scholarship applications in yet? I haven't. Almost. Our computer stopped working, so now I'll have to finish it at school. Sounds like a job for Ryan. Oh, really? Can he fix that? Oh, yeah. Only thing he can't fix are his grades. And his social life, hair, and his clothes. Anyway, did you ever find a club to add to your transcript? Yeah, I did. It's the one that the counselor started. So the counselor's a sponsor? Yeah, Miss Williams. I hope it'll help my sad transcript. Too bad I'm not an officer of a drill team acing all my AP classes, and the class president like you are. Don't remind me. I'm enjoying a moment of denial that I am behind in everything. Okay. Are you still gonna try to apply to UT so you can be with Rob? No, that's done. No more Rob. What? What happened? It was more of a slow fade. Things just haven't been right for a while. 
fraternity world beats high school girlfriend anyways, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It's life. Plus, I don't even know if I want to go to college right now. Hey, where are you going? Out. Wait, come here. Where are you going? Just out. Away from here. Hey, y'all do me a favor and stay away from the place. Um, why? Just don't go there. Okay, well, you're gonna have to give us more than that, because I don't have a problem with it, but Peyton here has plans. It's okay. I won't go. Oh, my fitness app. I'm gonna go for a run, you wanna come? No, I gotta go. So, I'll see you later. Tell Jackson I said hey. <laughs> When Grace walked in, I saw her and I knew, I knew I'd seen her before. Couldn't figure out where, but I came in here and I ran her. And when I see her face here and I look here, this may confirm that I know her from about 30 years ago. What, a tattoo? No, it's a birthmark. So I continued in my search and I ran the cases back then that I think is associated with them, and I come up with Ella. Something else, isn't it? Wow, they're almost identical. So I was a rookie at New Orleans PD. One of my first calls for service was a welfare check in the French Quarter. And we were down there checking uh, on a bunch of young women that were reportedly working for Ella. So we get down there and that is exactly what we find. So I had turned over the scene to the detectives and CPS. So I got back in my patrol car and I was getting ready to leave. I look up in the rearview mirror, put it in reverse, and I start to back up. I am shocked to see a little girl standing right behind my patrol car. So it kind of startled me. Well, I stopped, of course, put her in part, jumped out, picked her up, checked her, made sure she was okay. And I'm looking around to see if someone's going to claim her. And I look over where Ella is standing, and Ella just looks at me, and I kind of lifted this little girl up, and she looked at me with that same thousand yard stare she's got there. And then she just turned away. And I thought, wow, that's just weird. And so I looked back at the little girl and what I noticed was that birthmark. So what'd you do? The only thing I could, I could think to do was say a prayer and she was so innocent and so pure that my instinct was that she's not gonna have a shot at a life. And so I just held her and I, I prayed for a miracle. I prayed that she would have a, a good life. And um, I walked over to the CPS worker. I handed them to them, and and uh, I never saw her again until today. You want to come to the interview? No, no, I, I don't think so. I've, I've got to go to this meeting, and um, you know, I think I want to. Uh, I think I want to hold on to the miracle and the answered prayer a little bit longer. Hi, Miss Hazel. Hey, Jaden. It sounds like your brakes are worn. I think they are. All right, go ahead and drive in. Thank you. How can we help you today? Hey, Dusty. Did 
Did you hear that? I don't know. It's like every time I stop, it's And then if I accelerate, it's And then when I start again, it's Kind of like, how's that again? OK, what in the world is he doing now? Pastor Chamberlain. Oh, you mean Owen? Yeah, Owen. He's a new volunteer here. We have volunteer training this afternoon. OK, so what does he know about cars? You know, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Gonna have to leave it here a couple of days like last time. You got a ride? Or maybe we can get Owen to give you a ride? I don't need Owen to do anything for me. Thank you very much. My sister Janelle, she was just right behind me. As a matter of fact, she'll be pulling up any minute. OK, if you're sure. What took you so long? Why? It just, it just took you too long, that's all. You're acting as if you've seen the preacher. Why do you say that? You just get all worked up when he's around. I do not. Detective James. Nice to meet you. Would you like a bottle of water before we get started? No, thank you. I'm fine. Can you state your name for the record? Grace Williams. And when did you begin to think that Lindsay Jordan might be missing? Um, last night. We sort of share the same birthday. We celebrate it together every year. We had been planning it for weeks, and then she just didn't show. No call, no nothing. I called everyone that I could think of that may have seen her, and no one had. And then today I found out that she missed work and didn't call in for a sub. And how long have you known, Lindsay? Uh, about 15 years now. Would you say you know her habits well? I mean, yeah, she's like my little sister. And how did you meet Lindsay? Katrina, the hurricane. I'm from New Orleans. I came to Houston on a bus with a bunch of other evacuees. So here I was in a shelter in Houston, and Lindsay and her mother were volunteering there. We sort of struck up the conversation. They picked me out as their little project, I guess, and I stayed with them while they helped me find my Aunt Hazel and my Aunt Janelle. You can sleep on that bed, and here's the bathroom. This will be fun. I hope you can stay a long time. Come sit. I know I'm too old to sleep with stuffed animals, but I do. This guy. But you can sleep with any of those animals, okay? Okay, but I'm only here just until I find my aunts. I know. Hey, tomorrow's my birthday. I'll be 14. When's your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> really? Really, I don't know when my birthday is. Oh, well, how about you can share my birthday, okay? So let's make tomorrow your birthday too. And let's say every year from now on, we will always have our own birthday party together, okay? Okay. And we've been best friends ever since. And now you work together. Yes, I'm a counselor at one of the schools. I got the job there first, and then right after, I found out there was an opening in the PE department. Lindsay has a dance background, and so she got the job, and here we are. So you're a counselor at one of the local schools? Yeah, Montgomery West. My kids go there. Riley and Ryan. That was me leaving those voice messages. So you try to meet with all the kids about college planning? I'm more of a crisis counselor. I'm trying to meet with the kids that have significant traumatic events in their past. Agent, uh, Chief assigned me to assistance. Can you think of anybody who might have wanted to hurt Lindsay? Enemies, ex-boyfriends? I mean, I've tried to think. She has no enemies that I know of. She does have ex-boyfriends, a lot of those. 
I'd probably say the most serious one was Sean Flores. He was crazy about her, still is. And what happened to Sean? She broke it off with him. And then shortly after, she started seeing Alex Robinson, another teacher here, and then he broke it off with her. There was so much drama. I told you not to come here. Well, you're here, so I figured it'd be okay. Look, whoever you were supposed to be meeting here today, just tell him not to come, okay? I already did. He's not coming. Stop. Okay. okay. Sorry. Look, it's getting late anyways. You should probably head home. Okay, I'll leave, okay? I promise, but what's going on? What's wrong with the place? Peyton, just trust me on this one, okay? Go home. love to talk more to Riley and Ryan sometime, you know, just to get to know him a little. I'll be at my desk. You're not gonna have any trouble getting Riley to talk. You might even have trouble getting her to stop talking. She definitely doesn't need a counselor, though. Okay, and how about Ryan? Ryan's quiet. He's a typical teenage boy, right? Mm, well, I don't know. The more that I work with teenagers, the more I realize there's no typical. They're good at hiding things. Okay. Thanks for the info. Yeah, no problem. I mean, parenting teens can be hard. It's a time when they're naturally breaking away from you, but you need to step Wait, in. do you have kids? No, I don't. Well, you have my card if you need us. Any of mine, thank you. Hi, y'all. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Janelle. Hey, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you? you? I'm doing well. So I heard y'all's niece is the counselor at the high school. Yes, yeah. she is. My little sister talks about her all the time, how great she is. That's our Gracie. Yes, it is. Bye, ladies. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, Pastor Shamlin. How you doing? Nathan, good to see you good here. Good to see you. Great, great. Is the founder here by chance? Yeah, there's Miss Hazel right now. Wow, you guys have a great turnout today. Yep. Yes, we are yep. having a great day. Oh, so I, got I, got I got it. I got it. Yes, it is. Well, I know they appreciate everything you all are doing. I for got them. I got it. Yeah. I, I got it. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you guys keep up the good work. We will. Mr. Grayson, hi. Hi. Just to remind you, we have that meeting next week with Judge Mack. Yes, I've got it on my calendar. I'll be there. I really appreciate all the work you've done. Thank you, and don't work so late. Thank you so much, Mr. Grayson. Have a good one. Hey. Hey, Sean. Hey, did you get my email asking if you've had any kids that have dropped athletics this semester? Yes. Um, there have been two. You probably heard Franklin Moore. I had a ankle surgery, had to drop football, and then one of my track kids, Ryan James. Yeah, great kid, kind of quiet. I'm worried about her, Grace. I know I am too. Any chance you just didn't take a little like, me time trip and lose track of time? I don't think so, Sean, not this time. There's just so many great things about her. She's just too trusting. I mean, she has no... Discernment? Yeah, I know. She's a magnet for rescuers, but I love her too. Have you eaten yet? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, I heard Miss Jordan might be missing. Where'd you hear that? Just kids, school. I mean, I know you can't tell me anything, but I hope she's okay. Everybody really likes her at school. So she's a good teacher? Yeah, I mean, kids kind of take over in there. She's pretty easy to get off topic, but she grades easy, so. That phone lights up every two seconds. How do you get anything done? It's 
for this stupid physics project. Don't worry about it. I can multitask. What? Listen, I just don't want you to blow it here. It's your senior year. GPA, scholarships. Don't worry. I'll get my schoolwork done. Ryan's the underachiever, not me. Plus, I am creating my positive reality and all that. What is that? Redmond Quinn memes. Redmond Quinn? Yeah, I thought he's supposed to be bringing a whole bunch of great things to the area by moving his headquarters here. He has brought all kinds of things here. Not sure they're good, though. What exactly does he do, anyway? I don't know. He's written a bunch of books, and he has a huge following online. I don't know. He does retreats and conferences, things like that. And what's his big message? To be your best self. Faith in human potential and be happy and succeed and... Mm. Hmm. So you're okay? I'm fine. You're a great dad. Job done, kid almost raised. Plus, you've got more to worry about than me, so... Is Ryan in his room? No, he left a couple of hours ago. Where was he headed? I don't know, he wouldn't tell me. Plus, he's moonier than anyone I know, so... He didn't say where he was going? No. Maybe he went to patrol the place. What place? You know, the place out in the woods that we would go when we were kids. Who's we? Ryan Payton and me. We were like nine or ten, and we would go whenever Mom was always tired and would want quiet. Hold on one second. Would you text him and tell him to get home right away? Yeah. What do you got? just take off like that. You gotta let us know where you're going. I need to know. Where were you? I was just on a run. In that? The 11, that is a white 2015 Honda license plate, Charlie Kilo 3. Is that Miss Jordan's car? Hotel 5, 4, Just seven. get home. We'll talk about this later. Stop for coffee? Something like that. We've got some new information on the Lindsay Jordan case. What happened? We have a couple questions for you. Come in. So, what did you find? What's going on? We found Lindsay's car in a motel parking lot in Minnesota. What do you mean you found her car? It looks like she may have met someone there. Maybe jumped in the vehicle with them. Oh, Lindsay. Her cell phone was still in the car. Lindsay. Do you know of anybody that she knows in Minnesota? So, what does this mean? Like, are you going to increase the search? I mean, it's clear by now that she's been kidnapped or something, right? For now, it's still considered a missing persons case. Now, can you think of anyone that she could have met in Navasota? No, 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 no. There's no reason that she should be anywhere near Navasota. I just... Like... I mean... Other than... Do you know who Redmond Quinn is? Yes. Yeah. His big complex retreat center thing is out between here and Navasota, right? Yeah, it's called Clarity Ranch. Beautiful facility. Lindsay is a huge fan of his. She has his books, listens to his podcasts. Do you know if she knows Redmond personally or any of his staff? See, it's a subject that we haven't really talked about lately because she just kept going on about him. So I read one of his books and it was just sort of off. I mean, some truths, but at the core, the big lie. I mean, 
This guy was basically teaching that you're your own God. Life is all about maximizing your own potential. There is no right or wrong. Everything's relative, that sort of thing. So a few weeks ago, Lindsay found out that Redmond Quinn was looking for a studio audience to film his new teaching series. He put out an invitation to his followers or whatever you call them. So she went and somehow she got to meet him afterward. He gave her his personal number in case she had any questions about the teaching or that's what he said anyway. And he got her number and acted like she may be able to help him with his future projects. She was super excited telling me about it, but the only thing I could think of is why he would single her out like that out of everyone. So, I mean, I told her how I felt and she wasn't real happy with me. She thinks I'm paranoid and no fun and all that and we never spoke about it again. So, you think Redmond Quinn has something to do with her disappearance? Just when you say her car was in Navasota, that's what came to mind. Hey guys, um, Alex Robinson here. I just got out of, I don't know how to describe it, unbelievable Redmond Quinn event. It was called Clarity Now, and um, it was one of those experiences where the energy in the room you're still here? I'm sure you agree anything you need Carl to do, I can handle. Nick, you have your path. And if you don't complete your assignment very soon, you will never reach level five. There have been some complications. That's not Ella. Who are you? Bad day to forget your wallet. You need to explain yourself quick. I'd love to, but I've got a flight to catch. I don't want details. I will find the pages. I have no doubt. Carl, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, first, I've neglected my duties as your level guide. Sorry. I was just looking back over your proposal to integrate clarity into the local social systems. How are things coming along? I have some strategically placed level ones. Education system, we have a dynamic teacher in the high school. Good. We have a police officer who's showing promise. If we work things right, he could be made chief soon. The current chief is reaching retirement age. Very good. How about media? That one's difficult. We do have a possibility. She's the one who interviewed you at the new bank today. What do you mean by difficult? Well, the media landscape changes so fast. And the news agencies we normally control are becoming irrelevant. Right. Keep up. And uh, what about this guy? Consider fast-tracking him? Okay. I look forward to seeing how well you orchestrate this. This town is just a, it's a microcosm of things to come. You understand that, right? Yes, I do. If I'm faithful with a few things, you'll put me in charge of many things. Something like that. I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow. I trust your itinerary is to your liking. Yes, thank you. Carl, I've reached a critical point on my path. I need time and a bit more information before I take my next step. I truly hope I can help, sir. You've proven yourself to be loyal, impervious to gossip and comparison. It served your path well. You are at the threshold of level six. I'm glad to hear you say that, sir. I know you're looking for ways to make it through that threshold. Of course. There's a situation in the next room that'll need to be removed from here. You're gonna need to construct an alternate reality in this case. Should be a fun challenge for you. I'm ready, sir.